look at here, guys. That Miller's Mart. Check out that big old crawfish right there, huh? Hey everybody, Kenny Banks of Southern Boys Outdoors. We're down here at the Southern Boys Pass boiling crawfish today. And today I'm gonna show you how we boil them in the two pot process that we call the two pot ball, baby. Check this out. We got a pot here of clean water, right here. We got a pot here of clean water. And then we got our other pot here. This is gonna be our seasoned pot. The brand new pot, that's our pot from last year that we used. So we're gonna have our just clean water pot and our seasoned pot. And I can promise you guys, this here is going to be off the chain. All right, guys, we got both pots lit. We're we'll going to bring them to a bowl. Once we get both of them a bowl, we're going to start adding the seasoning and everything. It's going to be good today, guys. We don't get no better than this right here, but. Woo! All right, y'all, here we go. Fix the start, adding the seasoning and stuff to the uh, coffee bowl. Pick it up. Okay, now our next step is to take them out of this pot and put them in our soak pot. So we raise this lid off of here. Check this out. Now this is our soak pot right here. We got all of our seeds and everything. We done boiled it for about 10 minutes cooking the potatoes. Now we're fixing to take those crawfish and put into the soak pot. I can get it like that. There we go. Now, what we did, y'all, we got a couple in here left. If you look in here, you see how dirty that water is? All that mud and everything come off them crawfish. Look how muddy that water is. And if you smell it, it smells like old ditch water or something. And that there would be soaking in your crawfish right there. All that, that smell, 
all that dirt and everything, when you're doing your the, uh, step two of boiling crawfish, the soak part, the soak step, all that dirt, all that mud that's in this pot right here, look at the inside of it, Brandy, again. All that would be soaking into your crawfish. So now we got our soak pot here, which we done, we done boiled our potatoes for 10 minutes. And now we're just gonna let our crawfish soak. And that, this process here is gonna take about 25 minutes. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna add our, our uh, sausage. Smoked and, uh, sausage. Smoked sausage and Brandy's favorite right there, the little Cut, sausages. Cocktail. Cocktail. Put those in there. And then we're gonna add our corn. I don't know what happened to my assistant. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna add our corn in there. And we just wanna push this down and we wanna get them underneath the crawfish because the crawfish are floating. So you wanna push that corn down, get it underneath that crawfish. Look how big and pretty these are. And uh, anyway, we got a, a loco ball bag here, they call it. And uh, we're gonna spread this out and uh, we're gonna put them shrimp here inside of this ball bag. Again, I don't know what happened to my assistant, but she ran off on me again. And uh, anyway, so we got all of them in, in the ball bag. This is five pounds of shrimp. We're gonna put it like this. And we're gonna put this in the soak process right here. And then we're gonna take, and we're gonna push this down in there. We're gonna push this down in. There you go. Mmm. So, get that down underneath them uh, crawfish, like that. Now we're not gonna put the lid on it because we want it to cool. And the faster it cools down, the faster your crawfish will start soaking up the season. Right now the inside water temperature is probably around 150 because we shut it off a few minutes ago. So them crawfish are starting to soak up all that great flavor right now. We got our corn, we got our sausage, we got our lemons, we got our loco seasoning, we got everything in there. Now it's just a waiting game till they get done. Uh, we got a ball bag in here. We're gonna pull this ball bag out this here has all of our shrimp in it. Ooh, it's hot, still kind of warm, but look at that. Look at all the shrimp in there. So we're gonna get this set out of the way right now. Ooh, let it drain a little bit. That's all of our shrimp in there. I'm gonna bring this right over here, put that there. And then me and Mama T is gonna get these crawfish up. I'll turn around you. Other than Mama T. Do you think I'm strong? All right, so come up with it easy. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, there you go. All right, there we go. For now. All right, Mama T's wore up, but look at that, guys. Is that beautiful or what? Well, I'm stepping up. Is that beautiful or what? That's what I need a picture mm, of. Mm, mm. Just got finished boiling the crawfish. Now we'll give you a little step-by-step -step instruction on how to eat crawfish. And we'll give you three different ways. Step one, or the first way, take the crawfish tail, you push it out straight like this. You push in and twist like that. When you do that, you pull it out and your crawfish comes out like that. When you do that, you don't suck the heads. That's how people that don't suck the heads eat crawfish. Another way, take it, hold the tail straight out, pinch it like that, come up in your mouth, push and pull, suck the head like that. Another way which you can eat a crawfish, tail out straight, break it off, peel the first two rings off like that. Uh, and that's how you eat crawfish here in Louisiana. Just don't get no better than that, guys. Oh, check out these big old shrimp. Look at these big old shrimp we bought today. Man, and they just peeling so good. Look at that shells coming right off of them and we eat this big old shrimp in front of y'all because these shrimp they got a little sweet taste to them look at that mm. Mm -hmm. it just don't get no better than this time of the year crawfish season here in south louisiana it just don't get no better than that, like that guys. <laughs>